Howdy ho, people. So uh, this morning, uh, it's a would-be treat. Woody doesn't have to drive. I don't have to drive. Woody might get to take him out. No, I probably won't nap him, but I don't have to drive. Going with uh, Chris this morning uh, on the uh, outer line. He's going to take me to some of his uh, sweet spots. Do a little uh, spear fishing. Uh, lobstering. What was that? A and a little lobstering for the ladies. So uh, looking forward this morning. So let's see how well we do. It's all fixed. So Chris calls these cul-de-sac ledges, well, because they're about the size of a cul-de-sac. Since they're so small, there's really nowhere to swim to. So sometimes you can do really good, or sometimes you do really bad. So let's see how well I do. Now all that beeping you're hearing is uh, my computer. With the particular mix that I'm diving, I'm approaching the MOD for this particular ledge. I think we're about 114, 115, something like that on this ledge. So unfortunately you'll hear it every time I get close to the bottom.
So as you can see, all this time I've been over uh, playing with the hog snapper. Uh, the wife has been doing what she does, getting some lobster. Unfortunately, that one had eggs, and most of them the entire day had eggs, except for a few. But she'll uh, make up for it here in just a second. She gets a big one. So isn't that the way it goes? The biggest fish you see all day long just swims up. We have no way to shoot it.
<clears throat> so you might be asking yourself why didn't I go down and get that fish I'm about 40 feet off the bottom right now and I have no bottom time left to go down and get the fish sometimes you just gotta let the fish go I'm doing three dives on this particular day and I can't afford to go into deco on my first dive sometimes you gotta let it go good lesson to learn Is that not some gorgeous visibility? Well, we're doing another cul-de-sac ledge. Quite fond of them now. Check it out. Oh, Lopsarella, Lopsarella, where art thou? Come down hither and put down your snare. There is a big lobster crawling on that ledge. Okay, she doesn't get this one, but she is tenacious. We'll see her again in a little while. So I see a scamp in the distance here. So uh, I lay down on the, on the bottom and try to stir up the sand a little bit. Try to get him interested in what I'm doing. It actually works. He actually comes over to me. But uh, right before he comes in range, he, he, he gets wise to my game. So where's my wife been this whole time? She's still trying to get that lobster out. She's like a Jack Russell trying to get that rabbit out of a hole. Oh. 
So as I'm sulking about not getting a shot off on that last grouper, I look down in this crack and see a piece of torn flesh. Well, it can only be our friend from at the beginning of the dive. So uh, sit back and enjoy the ride because this is going to be a good one. So this is a battle right here now. I'm grabbing rock, I'm grabbing fins, I'm grabbing grouper, I'm grabbing anything I can grab to try to get him out of this hole. But I finally get the stringer. And he is coming out. So in case you missed that, that was my official invitation to dinner.